Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and this is Top 5's, the only weekly Top 5 show in snowboarding. In this week's episode, we'll be talking about the top five reasons you could use to move to a shred town. That's right. The season's winding down, and now everyone's going, I want to live in a snowboard town. And so they're going to look for any excuse they can grab onto to move for the next season. So I figured, why not help you along? Number five, the most obvious reason on this list, you're going to get conned into working for the resort because it has free housing. You're a snow carny. You don't shred, you just work here. You push the buttons and the magic flying couch goes up the hill and I get to snowboard and you get to sit around and regret your life choices while living on nothing but a diet of ramen, cheap whiskey, and bad regret. In fact, you'll probably end up with crabs or herpes because of these choices. I don't recommend this one at all. Number four. Convince your parents that the local school is the best option for you to get a better education. Conversely, you will blow all your student aid on new gear and season passes and promptly fail out having a lot of debt. Your parents will never speak to you again and you'll become one of those washed up people that you see at Shred Towns when you come to visit that just lashes out at tourists. Totally a viable option if that's the way you want to go in life. I'm not saying I would, I'm just saying you could. Besides, a lot of these community colleges and mountain towns are actually relatively cheap. You can get a better education if that's your thing. Although I recommend trade school. Number three, believe your child is a shred prodigy. Move to the mountain so that you can follow their pro career only to realize your kid has no chance of ever making any of the money back that you've put into him because the dynamics of the snowboard industry and the culture of it have completely changed and no one cares about energy drink sponsors anymore. I mean, if that's the way you want to go, go for it. I understand wanting to give your kid everything that you couldn't have, but maybe you should make them work for it a little bit more than being homeschooled so that they can go get first tracks on a powder day and just go ride the park. Why is your kid riding the park on a powder day? That is fucking pathetic. Pathetic. You're a bad parent. Number two, you're a hobosexual and your significant other is going to move. You got two options here. You're about to become homeless and have to actually fend for yourself, or you can just move with them and sponge off of them like you have, like every other self-respecting hobosexual. If you don't know what a hobosexual is, I'm really sorry. They're very prevalent in shred towns. I know a lot of them. Kinda like being a sugar baby, except you snowboard more. Maybe I need to find myself a rich saber tooth and then I can retire. Yeah, that could be it. I'll bag and tag me a saber tooth and I could retire. For anyone that doesn't know what a saber tooth is, it's the evolution of a cougar. It goes cub, puma, cougar, saber tooth, fossilized. You don't want to go after something that's been fossilized. Honorable mentions. All great options, but just barely didn't make it on this list. You can be one of those work from home people. So you're going to move to the mountains, suck up housing that could have otherwise gone to someone in the local workforce, thus forcing them further out, thus exacerbating your stress as you get pissed off that you had to wait 20 minutes for your double mocha latte frappuccino iced bullshit or that you're upset that your delivery took two hours to get there or DoorDash wasn't working. You're part of the problem. But hey, you work from home, you can pay five times the going rate for rent, so who cares? You're old, so you retire to the mountains because you always wanted to be there when you were younger. Unfortunately, you're now so old and fossilized, you can't actually enjoy it and you spend your days looking for a hobosexual to take care of you. Seriously, if you're fossilized and you got one foot in the grave and the other's creeping in, get at me. I want in that will. I will work for that inheritance. You're having a midlife crisis, so you're going to move to a shred town to find yourself. Newsflash, you're not going to find yourself. What you're going to do is find a lot of regret at the bottom of a bottle after you drink yourself half to death. Realize you blew all your money, you have nothing to go back to, and it wasn't what you thought it would be. 
And the final honorable mention, you're a vapid dumpster fire of a human that wants to become a YouTube vlogger for fortune and glory. Okay, you found a way to make money in snowboard, but you still suck as a human. You're a fucking raging dumpster fire. Ugh. These have been the honorable mentions for the reasons you could move to a shred town next year. I mean, they're all very viable, but they just barely didn't make it on this list. And the number one reason you could use to move to a shred town, you want to inherit your family's second home in the mountains. You figure if you get there first, you'll beat all your siblings or relatives to it so you can stake your claim. Nothing wrong with this. I mean, the house is paid off and you could probably rent the rooms and make a nice living off of it and set yourself up for a future. On top of the fact, I mean, who really wants to move into a house that you shit in all the toilets and didn't clean? This, this happens with most of these people that inherit these houses. They don't clean their toilets. It's fucking weird. I don't get it. Anyways, if you're lucky enough to inherit a house in the mountain, that means your family was probably more well off than mine would ever be. So congratulations, you're now here, you own property. You're probably gonna regret it in another year when you get knocked up or get crabs or scabies or scaby crabs. Anyway, welcome to the Shred Town. This has been my top five list of reasons you could use to move to a Shred Town. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I forget one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this list. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not gonna miss any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you wanna see us expand it further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. It's not a cult, or is it? Anyways, I could explain it more here, but I got a video over there that does a better job. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.